Welcome back trainers and I can't believe how good this thing was. This is amazing. Now we're going to be taking a look at an XL community day Alolan Sand Slash. This thing was incredible. Now initially we're saying I was saying and you know a lot of people too it's useless. Why are they giving it this move? It's you know it's not going to do anything. It's not really helping it too much in the sims in the sims. See now there's a difference between getting it into the field and testing it out and hit me like, you know, the, the night before Community Day, I was thinking, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, hold on. Shadow Claw, we have in the XL League for Ultra Premier or Ultra League Open, Walren XL, and Water Types. You're going to be hitting Trevenant. You're going to be hitting Giratina. You're going to be hitting Talonflame for neutral and super effective damage and going right through it instead of not very effective. Yes, Powder Snow is good, but folks, I am completely on the other fence on the other side of the fence now it, it's over okay uh, this thing is incredible okay i hope you made one um it, it's crazy good okay now is it oh my goodness meta changing you know a little bit you're gonna see what's going on here i didn't go into this thinking it's garbage i was going into this thinking okay you know it's a pretty steep investment and it, it's gonna do something here it's got to and it did more than i could even imagine that it was possible granted we had a good back line pulling up some crazy good leads got some bad leads that we turned around have some amazing battles nonetheless you're gonna want to stick around make sure you hit that like button folks really appreciate it this was a steep investment i'm bringing you the stuff you want to see what, what about the canto version you know i honestly don't care about that because ground is too vulnerable to everything out here that's meta that's going to be used you got water you have grass i don't think so you got ice it's just too much and it has too little to defend itself against it so steel being steel is just amazing now here's the thing about it, it has you know you got to look out for fighting you're going to take a lot of damage being ice and steel type you have to look out for fire again ice and steel you're taking four times the damage here so it's going to be going down quick and you're going to see it go up against talent flame you're going to see it go up against fighters you're going to see it go up against all kinds of meta and it is going to be putting in the work i know i'm raving about it am i i know right this is crazy i wouldn't if it wasn't true and if you can't tell, or maybe you can tell, I'm a little excited. I would be talking louder, but it's kind of getting a little late on a Sunday night. And I got neighbors. So, folks, um, this was crazy good. We're going to be pairing it up with Starscream, the shiny Gyarados, which is also going to have a community day move, Aqua Tail. And we're going to be going with Dragon Breath. I went with Dragon Breath because I felt like we needed a little bit more coverage for dragons. Yeah, we do have the Alolan Sand Slash that's going to have Ice Punch and resisting dragon moves, but with the Machamp lead, I just felt it was going to be better. There were situations where I would have loved Waterfall, but there's a situation where you would have loved another charge or quick move on your other Pokemon all the time. So Machamp, we have Cross Chop, of course, and Rock Slide, and then, of course, the Counter as well. And with that said, we're leaving, leading with the Machamp the entire time. Look at, look at, look at. But well, Gyarados just has no health. So we're going to have to bring in the Sand Slash here. We're so weak to fire. This is incredible. Let's go. Shielding it up. They have no more shields left. we got one left. We need to get to an Ice Punch. And Shadow Claw has to help us take it out. If not, this is not going to be enough. Unless this thing is a beast. Are you sure? Are you ready? Let's see. Not enough. Shadow Claw, Shadow Claw taking it out. And coming in here with that Scrafty, we're getting to the Ice Punch and going up against two of the Pokemon that we're four times weak against. Yeah, it was set up. Okay, I'm not, you know, it's not like, oh my gosh, I just swept them completely. We had shields and we had the energy and, we just, you know, we got there. But still, come on, that's pretty incredible. Fire and fighting, we took them out. Let's get into the full commentary here. I'm getting a little too excited about this thing. It is, <laughs> you like the nickname I gave it? <laughs> kind of a play on like Quills and then Icicle. Isaquil. <laughs> yeah, anyways. So we got the Gyarados up against the Swamper here. This is always a good matchup. Although, for my first few battles warming up, I did underestimate these matchups here. The Hydro Cannon does add up very quickly because Gyarados is not necessarily a tanky Pokemon to any degree. It has that nice resistance, but it's uh, <laughs> Hydro Cannon is Hydro Cannon. So we're taking out that Swamper there. Melmetal coming back into the battle. Looks like we're trying to get to Crunch. They're going to be farming us all the way down. Now we need to look out for the Alolan Sand Slash because I'm just going to call it Sand Slash. How about that? Uh, because they're so weak to fighting. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Machamp here and go right for a Cross Chop, which is going to force a shield. Beautiful. And they have a bunch of energy and no more shields on their end. So I think we're going to let this first one go. Just going to have to absorb it. 
What you got back there? Toga kiss, folks. Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready for this? So Shadow Claw in this situation, it's fine. I found you know going up against. I mean, what was it? There was like maybe a dragon out there too that would love to have powdered snow, but I wasn't saying. Oh, I wish I had it. It was like we'll have this move. So. You know, whatever. Uh, but it works great. Look, we're going to aggressively farm down and then throw the bulldoze. <laughs> Is that bulldoze? Yeah. <laughs> Forget what the damn thing I'm getting too excited. What's going on over here? Now, I did want to go with bulldoze and, of course, ice punch because it's giving you a pretty good coverage range as well as shadow claw. Uh, what, what do you, what do you, isn't this crazy? It's not even over yet. Good lead. Okay, let's go. We got a long video, folks. They're going to be swapping into Drapion here. We're going to just stay with Machamp. We're going to throw this. And then swap into the Sand Slash here because we're taking not very effective damage from Poison. And I mean, Crunch is going to go right through his Aqua Tail. Yeah, and I was going to do some damage. But this thing, at it is level 49. If you just see in the beginning and we powered it up. If you're wondering, it needs one more power up so it's level 49. Uh, you saw the rank 30 something, 37 something, whatever. It's good. it's pretty good, okay? <laughs> I'm happy with it. Is it not shiny? It's not shiny. It's just, it's, you know, normal form. But hey, you, you get what you take. Uh, as far as the shiny count, folks, uh, you know, honestly, I haven't even counted. <laughs> I haven't even counted. Came home, turned on the incense. Oh, by the way, hold on. Okay, then never mind. This isn't the battle. We're going to have some epic, epic stuff here, but I'll tell you about this. I came home, turned on the incense, and I just uh, finished my tasks. So I didn't have those l lingering around for, you know, months or whatever weeks. And I, I just started playing Elden Ring. <laughs> I had a blast. I was like, man. I don't feel any pressure. I don't have to hurry up and grind. I don't have to hurry up and run through this because I have somewhere to be or something to do. You know, I had a time frame, but you know, it was nice to just relax. Anyways, um, and then after that, before the hour period, then I started evolving. I kind of started sifting through that a little bit before, just taking a look at which ones were the best rank for the Great League, Ultra League, and so on, you know. Well, it's not really so on. I'm not going into Master League with this. Oh, no, 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 somebody's gonna do it now. All right, so anyways, um, Let's get into the commentary. I'm just so hyped for this. I'm so happy that, that, that we have something here. All right, so we have a great lead, of course. They're gonna be swapping into Cresselia, and here we go. Uh, <laughs> you're looking for a good counter for Cresselia? It is gonna be a Lowland Sand Slash with Shadow Claw, all right? <laughs> it just walls it. Everything's not very effective. I think the hardest hitting thing's gonna be Future Sight, naturally, because it's getting stabbed. All right, so let, let's just take a look here. Let, let's just see how this works out. Grass, okay, okay. Look at the Shadow Claw, just dig it in. Sticking in. Yeah, you know, we get off an ice punch here and there. You definitely want to come out of this with energy. You could definitely afford to uh, let those charge moves go. You know, they will add up, obviously. We're getting a little, we're, we're getting a little low. Okay. And we throw now because I don't want to get hit by like a, you know, the bigger charge move, which is going to start doing some damage. So we take them out. Great. In comes the Umbreon, and we're going to just start throwing Ice Punch over and over and over again. And we're going to be bringing this thing down pretty decent because they're going to farm us all the way. They don't throw a charge move. They cap out at 100. Had to be. Had to be. And uh, they're aggressively farming us down like we did a couple of battles back. So here we go. Just continuously going. I'm not swapping. Uh, there's no need to swap. Now, the only thing we need to look out for is the Umbreon potentially having Psychic. Yeah, that could be problematic. So we got to just uh, shield up the Machamp despite anything. And they try to swap into our Gyarados. We'll see what happens here. They're definitely going to shield this up. Obviously, they have 100 energy on their Umbreon. And there it is. We'll shield this up. And then we swap, I think. If I remember correctly. I don't know. Okay, now we do to catch. Beautiful. All right. And this is going to be another Psychic. Yes, sir. Good. And they bring in their Talonflame. And here we go. All right, we're in a good setup here. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and just throw that Aqua Tail. Do you, do you see the Alolan Sand Slash? It, it's no pushover, all right? It, it's putting in the work. <laughs> it's like, oh, better be careful up against fire and fighting. Yeah, but you saw what happened. Now, if you're stuck in a situation where they got shields and, you know, you have no energy, yeah, you know, you're done, obviously, but <laughs> that's a given. So we're going to go ahead and take out this Talonflame before it's a threat, swapping into Machamp so we can start getting ready for that Umbreon, and we take out the Umbreon and take the win. All right, let's keep it moving here, folks, with the Alolan Sand Slash team, and we're met with an Alolan Golem. So this, <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, yeah, Niantic, no algorithm. Okay. And obviously, this is good for me. All right, the two back Pokemon beautifully pulled up everything we needed to see up in the front. Every single time, for the most part. Not every time, obviously. Uh, so they swap into the Nopsigoon. That, <laughs> uh, that'd be a miss swap. 
we're calling it. They had a floor just back. No, nah, they, they definitely miss swapped. That's unfortunate, but at least we're going to be seeing the Alola Ninetales. Alola Ninetales? <laughs> oh my, have I, have I been saying that? Alolan Sand, oh my goodness, I don't know if I have, who knows. Anyway, Sand Slash, putting in that work here. And we will resist everything they throw at us. Grass, Psychic, Fairy, it's all resisted by us. Let's go. Thank you, Steel Type. It's so OP. They say I'm done here. Y you miss swapped. It's all good. I appreciate your participation in showcasing the Sand Slash. Let's keep it moving into the next battle. Machamp, every single time leading the charge, met with a wall rain. I'm telling you, folks. I'm telling you. All right, you already know what it is. Going for the cross chop here. And they'll be dushing out some pretty hard damage. Looks like they're going to be staying here. Maybe they might swap after this. Let's see what happens here. And they're going to be bringing in Scrafty. All right. I'm done. Okay, we're going to stay right here. Just for now. I think we're going to swap into Gyarados after this. And unfortunately, get off a charge. But this is just Power Punch. Easily letting it go, obviously. And immediately swapping not to take damage. And Gyarados is going to be doing some decent Dragon Breath damage. Scrafty is a pretty tanky Pokemon. If it's not taking super effective damage here. And we're going to take him out. Nice. With an Aqua Tail and a few more Dragon Breaths. In comes Wall Rain. And we're still going to be doing good damage. Now, this is one of the reasons why I also wanted Dragon Breath. Almost Elite Quick TM'd this to get Dragon Tail. Because the IVs are pretty good for this Ultra League. And it's shiny. But Dragon Breath is fine. We're, we're, we'll, we'll make do with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these elite quick TMs one day. Saving it for some sort of Pokemon Go War. Which is, which is never going to happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe they might you know, come through with some massive overhaul. I may want to get a bunch of elite moves. And I'll have them on deck. Ready to go. Like I said. Got to have that storage ready to go. Alright. Next battle. What are we going to see here? Hey, another wall rain. Look. Hey. Hey. They come in with their Needle Queen, and this is one of those waterfall situations that I would love to have it because it is going to be able to kind of just start outpacing if I don't double shield, and I'm not interested in doing that right now. But uh, Lowland Sand Slash is still going to have a good matchup. This is another situation where having Powder Snow is going to be better because it's super effective to the ground typing, but Shadow Claw still works nice. It's not like, oh, this move is no good. Oh my goodness. You know, I think it's not even the Shadow Claw move. It was in a lot of situations. It definitely was. But I think it's just on the Lowland XL Sand Slash. That's just damn good in general. All right. <laughs> this thing's put it in the work. Anyways, they're going for a Poison Fang. We let it go. They've thrown a couple of debuffs. So we're going to go ahead and swap into Machamp. And they have a Sylveon in the back. All right. All I was thinking is all we need to do is get off this rock side. And we should be Peach. All right. We're Peach. Let's get it. So they're going to charm us down here. Now, what's going to happen is we go in, we're going to start throwing these. we got a lot of energy built up here, and we should be able to handle that wall rain. But I have a little treat for you. There's going to be a twist at the end. Let's go. So, unfortunately, they're getting to their charge move. We're letting it go all resisted, but it is a little bit of damage. But it's still going to be better to hold on to our shields for this thing here. All right, let's go. Going for the bulldoze right off the bat. Let's see if they want to shield it up. Folks, don't take your eyes off the screen. This is going to get a little bit crazy here. Going for a nice punch here. See if we can get another shield. If we do, we're going to be looking good possibly for a win. Okay, Sand Slash, it's time to shine. You don't have to prove your worth. You've already done that with those other battles, but this is just going to be setting you apart. A little thing here. Let's get it. All right, we're shielding it up. We got to shield it up. We're going to shield all of, all of it up because we're just getting a little too low here and going for the Bulldoze. It's getting close. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to win, is it? We did let the Essigal Spear go. We're going to we let one go, and now we're going to shield it up because now we're just simply too low. Can we get to a Bulldoze? We are so close, but they're not going to KO. And we have a massive resistance to ice. We get to the Bulldoze, folks. Is this going to happen? Is this Sand Slash going to pull this through for us here? And, oh my gosh, we have a double KO. Let's get it. That was freaking crazy. There you go. Do you, do you need any more evidence? Yes, you do. Let's keep on watching. Bad lead here. Let's see what we're going to do. Turn it around. Bring it in Gyarados. They swap into their Registeel. All right, so... This is a pretty interesting situation. They do not have Zap Cannon. So I wasn't going to shield. I didn't plan on shielding at all. I wanted to come in here and farm down with Machamp and just go to town here. So they hit me with a Flash Cannon. So they got to have Flash Cannon and uh, Focus Blast, I would assume. I would think that at least they would go for the Flash Cannon. At their second try, they go for Or the Zap Cannon. On their second try, they go for another Flash Cannon, which they don't have it. So I'm thinking, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is looking really good. Getting to the Aqua Tail as soon as we can. We're not going to try to do any tricks or nonsense farm down. Taking them out without using a shield. Beautiful. 
and they're coming back in here with Giratina. This is exactly what I wanted. Go Alolan Sand Slash. I know you all wanted to see this. Let's see how it does with that Shadow Claw Ice Punch. And I'm going to tell you, it does great. Okay, you're resisting Dragon Breath. All right, Shadow Sneak is, what the, is the only thing that can hurt you with. Ancient Power is neutral. All right, so they go for that. They swap into Crest, and we're taking on and a sweeping with this thing. Now, we have to do something. we got to bring in Machamp because this is going to start eating away slowly but surely, even though we do resist. So we're going to let this go, swap into Machamp, get to the rock side and do as much damage as we can, and then sweep it up with the Alolan Sand Slash. I'm telling you, folks, this thing is no joke. It put in the work and it is well worth that investment. Super fun to use. Granted, you don't run into a double fire, double fighting team, and you don't have the right alignment, you're gonna be looking in trouble. You will get punched into oblivion, and you will get melted into, what is it, ice and, is it ice and metal? I don't know what, what the hell that is, but you'll just get melted, right? So, <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's just the way it goes. But if you can handle it, situation, and play out of it, like we did with the energy-filled talent flame. While we had shields, we we're still able to pull it off with that Shadow Claw. And did you see me put in the work? It just swept. Let's get it. Next battle meant with the Surf Fetch. Folks, this is a crazy video. This thing was amazing. This community day, it felt under, you know, a little bit, eh, a little boring, but it's fine. Uh, I already had the candies. That's why I didn't go hard. And <laughs> oh my gosh, I got this one at the last minute. Anyways, while, while I was go plusing, by the way, after I came home from the live stream, I didn't go. Like I said, I just went back on the couch. And we were just hanging out playing some Elden Ring for a while. <laughs> All right, so this is an amazing matchup. It just kept putting a smile on my face every single time I saw a Charm user. Now, they do have Meteor Mash, which is going to do some good damage. Now, something that this Sand Slash took by surprise with me is how it was able to absorb moves. It's a tank, somewhat, right? If it's not super effective all the way. It's a pretty tanky Pokemon at this level. I am so happy. Completely. All right. I just have to emphasize that because there's some people out there considering it and, you know, not everybody can just throw around a half a million Stardust, right? They got to really feel, okay, this is worth it. Was it one good day? It could have been, but I don't think so. There was many battles today where it just did good, where I thought I was going to lose and it just pulled through for me. So we're up against the, um... Napoleon there, they you know they swap. We sorry, man. I'm just getting too hype about this thing. I'm forgetting what's going on here. Just raving it up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shadow claw down. There's no point in throwing, and it takes out the Napoleon. Are you kidding me? This thing says welcome. This is my league now. Bring it on. Next battle met with a stun fist. So good lead. They're swapping into Talonflame. We're gonna go ahead and bring in our Gyarados, and the RPS has begun. Is this skill? I mean. As far as the people that have been telling me on Twitter, you know, they're telling me, this is nothing to the people that I'm going up against, but they're telling me if I couldn't pull out of a situation like this, that I was just bad. And, and that I'm being sarcastic is, is the part where, you know, it's not, it's not true. See, they're just saying that because they have to have something to attack me with, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they know that you can't pull yourself out of a lot of these. Although, I'm going to have to say at the end of this video... <laughs> oh, the last battle. It was the literally the last battle of the day. We're battling a legend here. Now, I'm not talking about a legend. You know, I don't know who they are. No disrespect, but what they did is incredible. We'll get into that. All right, what do we got going on here? I keep going off topic. Bringing in the Sand Slash to Shadow Claw down this draft. It didn't have much health, I know. Now, they, they, they just got RPS really hard. I understand that. I left this one in here. I usually would kind of take out a really hard one, but... It's getting some play here, so let's see how it takes Rockside. Okay, this is very valuable stuff to see. Sims are great. I appreciate PV Poke more than <laughs> than he could imagine. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure he understands. You know, we all appreciate him. But I've had his website under my keyboard. It's the number one pin. It's it's the been there the longest. But like I always have advocated for taking things into the field whether it has been the raids you know how i was really big onto that you know all these people with their sims like this and this and this and this and that and then i take it there and i demolish it and it's like what do you mean man this thing is good you're telling people not to power this up <laughs> come over to my channel and take a look at this thing is good and power one up guys and gals so getting it into the field is a little bit of a different situation to see how it really works you know, get a handle for it it's different teaching somebody how to shoot a gun as opposed to going to the to the field and, and, and safely testing it out, you know, with an instructor, right? 
Uh, you get where I'm going with that. I'll leave it at that. Anyways, let's see what's going on here. We'll be farming this thing down. All right, we got... We're, well, yeah, we're shielding up. We're taking them out with an invisible dragon breath that register before they hit that. Let's go, I think. Or maybe dragon breath's so slow or so so fast you didn't see it. Coming in and charming us out immediately. Fun time. Let's go. Loden Sand Sludge. Let's have some fun. It doesn't matter if it had charm, if it had weather ball, or I mean uh, powdered snow. It is still all resisted. So they swap. It's all RPS. We bring in the Machamp. We're looking good. Kind of don't want to be matched up against this with the Sand Slash kind of, you know. So we're just going to go ahead and try to win that. Come in here and charm us down. It doesn't matter if we had no shields going up against the Nine Tails with the Sand Slash. I mean, <laughs> steel and ice. Okay. It's really nice. <laughs> All right, so we're bringing it in here. And here is another situation, Shadow Claw. Just a better move to have because it's neutral damage. And I did, you know, I'm just gonna go for Ice Punch now, I guess. Could have just Shadow Clawed down, but just being playing it safe. You never know, I just don't want to get hit by no Dazzling Gleam. All right, next battle, let's see what we got going on. Another good lead, folks, I'm telling you. All right, all right, all right, Niantic, it's funny, right? So we're gonna be seeing them swap into a muck. We're gonna go ahead and just go for this and then swap into our Gyarados. You know, Sand Slash would be safe, but I just, you know, Gyarados is expendable. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Starscream. All right, get them. All right, so we're gonna, <laughs> you get the reference there? Yeah, all right, so. Okay, letting that go, very nice. Eight, coming out of this with energy. Very good. Gonna go ahead and go crunch, blind crunch, don't care, don't care. I'm trying to debuff. All right, Lapras, so okay, makes sense. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, start uh, going to town with Machamp. So they swap into a Talonflame, and I immediately think, oh crap. All right, we did it before, but I can't get too hype on Sand Slash taking out Talonflames all the time. But then again, can you? Folks, can you get hype on that? I think I'm gonna prove yes, you can. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go for another cross chop, see if we can get a shield out of them. And we do beautiful. We're gonna swap immediately, keeping that Machamp alive for the Lapras. And here we go. Look at the damage that they're doing. Incredible. Now, the key here is to deny and make sure we do not let some of these quick moves go through. And that is how we're going to be able to pull this off. So, there's sw oh, it's the swapping. Okay. Bring it in that uh, Lapras here. I already know what they want to do. Well, no, I don't. I think Surf's still fine. I was thinking a Skull Bash, but that's kind of pointless. Surf is what they want to do. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Now, that is neutral damage. Yeah. Now that is neutral damage, unfortunately not able to... Now, I didn't want it. It's not unfortunate. I let it go because we need to go in here and farm with Machamp, right? Okay. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, we're not winning this one. It's that battle. Okay. I had to leave this one in. That was a good call there. Good stuff. Um, and yeah, simple as that. Good game. Moving on to our next opponent. We're going to be met with a bad lead this time. Finally, a Galvantula. Now, <laughs> I cut out about two. If you're watching this, you battle me with your Galvantula. Like, I beat you. Yeah, you sure, you sure did, all right? But it was a very inconsistent annoyance that was happening where I wasn't able to get my quick moves through, resulting in all kinds of different things where I can get to two rock sides, where I can get and get to one rock side, where you got to two charge moves and I couldn't even get to one. It's like, what's going on here with this inconsistency with these guys? So anyways, uh, they let the rock side go, bring it into Giratina, and they're going to be farming us down. Beautiful. Alolan Sand Slash, it's time to shine again. Let's go. Going to let the charge moves go through, of course. The Shadow Sneak's going to you know, do some sneaky damage, I suppose. And they swap into a Cresselia. Again, we see this Cresselia and Giratina combo getting swapped by a single... Well, it's not single-handedly. Okay. It could, it could put in a lot of work against both of them. I'm, I'm hyping it up a little too, 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 too much. <laughs> Okay, so we're bringing in the Gyarados to, again, kind of just taking the hit here. Star Screams, you know, goes in there and takes a beating. That's what he does. <laughs> All right, getting to another crunch here. And uh, going to go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. Very nice. Getting the last shield. They're swapping into their Giratina to go ahead and take us out potentially here. All right, Sand Slash, go ahead and do what you do, buddy. Going to go for the Ice Punch. We are built up on a lot of snowballs. Throw in the first one. Okay, building up a little bit more. In I, I think we want to farm down. Going to let this go. I wasn't trying to flex. It wasn't a flex. I knew I just kind of needed to hold onto this energy here with that crest in the back. Could I wasn't paying attention if it had more energy. All right, so we're going to see some damage go through. All right, sorry, I just got a pop up from a video. I was just swiping it over. <laughs> and now we will use a shield. And at this point, they're probably like, yeah, give me a shield. Don't you two flex on me. Hey, I wasn't trying to flex. I was just trying to see how the limits we can push with this thing. All right, next battle, we're about with a Swampert. And this is, you know, it's a decent matchup. I mean, it's not bad, it's not good. Uh, they're swapping to catch, I do believe. That was a good catch with their Cresselia. Hey, now we're going to stay here for a moment. 
Now, I just had this feeling like they were thinking, what is he doing? Why is he staying here? Did he got payback? Now, I was building energy. They probably do. They, they probably do. These people know what's going on. All uh, right. Just because, you know, it's easy to get to level 20 doesn't mean there's not a lot of good players here. All right. Just because they don't have a, a legend pose from past seasons either. I've battled many people that are just plain clothes. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So maybe new accounts. They're just, you know, messing around. But anyway, uh, what's going on here? I'm going to swap it back here. I love when they do that. I love it when you do that. So go for an ice punch on that Swampert. Going to go ahead and bring in our Gyarados. And uh, the alignment is just looking beautiful at this point. No RPS. Now it is. Now we've maintained the good swap advantage here. So let's go ahead and take it out before it starts withering our health down with that annoying Hydro Cannon spam. And they shield up. Okay. That sounds good to me. We'll let this go. Easy money. We're not going to use a shield on Gyarados here. Yeah, we're going to let this one go as well. Eh, wait, do I shield? No, okay. Yeah, we'll just let this Starscream just take the beat. All right, so they're going to be swapping and farming us up. They really wanted to pull this off, and I can, I amend them for that. Just staying into the battle and, you know, trying to pull it off. That's what's up. All right, and they got a Trevenant in the back. Ooh, what about that? This is exactly what we were talking about, too. It is good up against it for sure. All right, so we're swapping into our Machamp to get off this rock side. I'm in desperate mode. I'm thinking, okay, you want to go try hard too? I'm good. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we're going to let this go. Uh, I'm thinking, you know what? Wait a minute. Eh, this, is, this is not exactly what I thought it was going to be. And guess what, folks? Look, look, we're going to talk about it for a moment. This is the last battle, by the way. This video went by quick. Holy cow, how fun. At this moment, I realized, okay, this guy's smart. He, he just played me for a fool. I got, he, he did it. This is how you make a comeback, okay? I had to leave this in here. This swap and catch was his key to victory. And with that said, good game. And this thing is well worth your investment. It is so fun and it is damn good. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll be catching you all in the next one. Take care.